Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, I hope you are doing well. I am Shorbi Madhavayu, again here with another informative video related to the electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the DC series mode motor on the MATLAB software. So before doing this experiment, let's discuss some few points regarding the DC series mode motor. So in the DC series mode motor, the field winding is connected in series with the armature winding. Therefore, the series field winding carries the armature current since the current passes through the series field winding is same as that of the armature current in the case of the DC series mode motor. So the series field winding must be designed with the fewer number of the turns of the thicker wire than the shunt field winding for the same MMF having the low resistance. So in the series mode motor, the armature current is equal to the series field current, is equal to the line current and is equal to the total line current drawn from the main supply. So the formula for calculating the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC series mode motor is equal to the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let's do the experiment of the DC series mode motor on the MATLAB software. Here viewers, our main objective of this experiment is to implement the circuit diagram of the DC series wound motor on the MATLAB software. So as you can see the diagram, the field winding is connected in series with the armature winding. The series wound motor can be defined as in which the field winding is connected in series with the armature winding of the DC motor. Therefore, the series field winding carries the armature current since the current passing through the series field winding is same as the armature current. So it must be designed with the fewer number of the turns of the thicker wire than the shunt field winding for the same MMF having the low resistance. So here in the case of the DC series mode motor, the armature current is equal to the series field current is equal to the line current. So if we want to calculate the power drawn from the main supply, so the formula for calculating the power is the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current. So dear viewers, we have to implement the circuit diagram of the DC series mode motor on the MATLAB software. Go to the power library. We need DC voltage source. We need DC machine. We need voltage measurement. We need ground. Go to the library browser. We need constant block. We need gain block. We need uh, product block. We need bus selector. We need display. So we are doing the experiment of the DC series wound motor on the MATLAB. So this is the DC series wound motor. So this is a DC series wound motor and its function is to convert the DC electrical power into the mechanical power. So we are connecting the DC voltage supply with the armature terminals of the DC series wound motor. Now in the case of the DC series wound motor, the armature winding is connected in series with the field winding. So we are connecting the armature in series with the field winding. So it will be called as the DC series wound motor go to the properties of the dc machine so this is the dc series wound motor and we are selecting the mechanical input as the torque load okay so if you want to measure the supply voltage in the case of the dc series wound motor so by connecting the voltmeter in parallel across the voltage supply so this voltmeter will give us the value of the supply voltage and this display will give us the value of the supply voltage in the case of the DC series wound motor. Connect the measurement port of the DC series wound motor with the bus selector. Go to the bus selector properties. Select speed WM radian per second. Select the armature current. Select the feed current. Apply. So from the output of this bus selector, we are getting the speed as a mechanical power output in terms of the radian per second. So if you want to convert the speed from the radian per second into the revolution per minute RPM in the case of the DC series wound motor. So the function of this gain block will convert the value of the speed from radian per second into the revolution per minute. And this display will give us the value of the armature current in the case of the DC series wound motor IA. 
and this display will give us the value of the field current in the case of the DC series mode motor IF. And this display will give us the value of the speed in terms of the RPM. So here in this experiment, the function of this product block is to measure the value of the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC series wound motor. So the formula for calculating the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC series wound motor is the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current. And here in the case of the DC series wound motor, the line current is equal to the armature current and is equal to the field current. So connect the one input of the product block with the voltmeter and connect the second input of this product block with the armature current. And here the armature current is equal to the field current and is equal to the line current in the case of the DC series moon motor. And this display will give us the value of the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC series moon motor. So we are giving the 240 volts DC supply to the armature terminals of the DC series moon motor and we are giving the load torque 10 Newton meter. Go to the properties of the DC machines, go to the parameters, select the field armature mutual inductance 5 Henry apply ok. So here in the case of the DC series moon motor, we are getting the speed as a mechanical power output in terms of the radian per second. So if you want to convert the value of the radian per second into the revolution per minute, so the one radian per second is equal to the 9.55 RPM. Apply. Okay. So now our circuit is ready for the simulation. Run the simulation and observe the results of the different parameters like the speed in terms of the RPM, the armature current, the field current, the supply voltage and the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC series boon motor. Run the simulation. So here the speed we are getting in terms of the RPM in the case of the DC series boon motor is 56.99 RPM, almost 57 RPMs. And this is the value of the armature current which is 1.568 ampere in the case of the DC series wound motor and the field current and the armature current both are the same one because in the case of the DC series wound motor the armature current and the series field current and the line current are the same one. And this is the supply voltage we are given to the armature terminals of the DC series wound motor which is 240 volts DC. So this is the value of the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC series wound motor is 376.3 watts. So if you want to calculate the power drawn from the main supply with the help of the calculator, so the formula for calculating the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC series wound motor is the product of the supply voltage multiplied by the line current. So here as we know that in the case of the DC series moon motor the armature current is equal to the field current and is equal to the line current. So here the line current in the case of the DC series moon motor is 1.568 ampere. So 240 volt is the supply voltage okay and 1.568 ampere is the line current. So again we are getting the same power drawn from the main supply which is 376.3 watts. So dear viewers this was the experiment of the DC series wound motor that we have done on the MATLAB software. So dear viewers this was the experiment regarding the DC series wound motor that we have done on the MATLAB software in which we have observed the results of the different parameters like the armature current, the series field current, the line current and the shunt field current and the power drawn from the main supply in the case of the DC series moon motor. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last do subscribe my YouTube channel Shwebe Madhaya for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering, electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation and the electronics. Thank you very much.